What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in the snow, and uh, as you can see, yeah, I'm not joking, 40 minutes, yeah, it's a new record, probably, I don't even know. But here we found ourselves a uh, full heal, because we need to heal our Pokemon. Um, I also bought a few repels here and there off screen because uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon here. Lots and lots of Pokemon. Now, I could have done this episode in like two, maybe three parts. Probably two. But I said, what the hell? Why, why am I gonna extend this walkthrough? I might as well just put it all together and uh, get it over with. This is my self co in Sinnoh, which is annoying. It's very, very annoying, guys. So here we are battling a Golduck. Of course, I forgot that, you know, they're like all the Pokemon here, they're not all Ice type Pokemon, so I gotta switch it up again. Yeah. So freaking annoyed right there. Anywho, happy Tuesday to every single one of you guys out there on YouTube land, and yes, I am hoping that you guys are enjoying this walkthrough video right here too, because, again, 40 minutes. Come on, guys. 40 friggin' minutes. I am uh, hitting myself right now in the head, because why couldn't, it, why couldn't this just be two, two, two episodes? Yeah, I already stated that earlier. Anywho, here you go. Golduck kicking our butts right now with a water uh, water pulse. But right here, Donatello is going to regain that HP back by using the Mega Drain. That's right. Feel the wrath of my three spikes and my Bonsai Cherry. And, uh, oh crud, it didn't make him faint, but yeah, whatever. Now, here's the thing that really confuses me. Why is it hailing while it's snowing? I never actually... <laughs> I, I never seen that before. I, I yeah, and look at that Ace Trainers. They like to switch up their Pokemon, of course. She has a Rapidash, so I'm gonna be like, oh crud! I just wasted a Mega Drain. Yeah, this is gonna be fun right here. Anywho, I've never seen that happen before. Hail and snow. I don't know. I I really yeah. <laughs> like right now, it is currently super cold from where I'm at. It is very cold, and uh. Yeah, I'm wearing as many uh, sweaters as possible because, you know, good old Draven, he he doesn't have that insulation like he used to. You know, the beefy insulation. Yeah, he slimmed down a lot. A lot, a lot. And uh, holy crud, Will-O-Wisp. You got to love that. And, uh, well, the hail continues, and I'm going to get hurt. Remember, guys, if you do have an Ice-type Pokemon, they won't get hurt by any kind of hail. I don't know. It seems, like to, it seems to be like a type thing. So let's go right ahead and just beat this guy. But, of course... Rapid Ash is faster than me. So much faster than me. And, uh, well, not effective, but you know what? It's whatever. And here we go with a Surf Attack. Come on! And that is how you do it. It is a critical hit, even though I'm still burnt right now. Okay, so we're getting experience points. Hydro, of course, grabs that 40 or 400 experience points. Level 42. And it continues to hail, so I'm going to take double damage just because. You know, hail, fire, that kind of stuff. Oh, jeez. So we're in the yellow right now. So he's coming out, or she's coming out with the pseudo wudo. I'm gonna continue right here with uh, Hydra, and hopefully the pseudo wudo doesn't come out with any kind of like rock, rock type uh, uh, shit right here on me. And uh, look at that, the surf attack for the win. Oh yes. Wait, it survived. Crap. Just my luck. Just my friggin' luck, and oh my god. Oh, my Atlanta. Uh, well, it had to happen. And yeah, well, you know, you still get hurt. <laughs> so nobody wins this one. Ha ha ha. Nobody wins. Two come in, no one comes out. And, uh, well, I'm going to be coming out with Gaia number two since it's uh, actually having a good win streak. And uh, hopefully the electric type attacks that I have for it, you know, will actually work. Come on. Shockwave for the win. Come on finish him off. Will it finish it off? No, it doesn't. God dang it. These Pokemon, I swear to God. They, they're they survivors. I'll give them that. They're survivors. And uh, more hail. Come on, hail. Do me a favor. Make it faint. It might make it faint. Will it make it faint? Yes, it does. <laughs> how about that? How about that? Alrighty. So that is how that, that, that is how we win this match right here. We, uh, uh, we have the hail actually helping us rather than hurting us and all that stuff. Now, Make sure to heal up your Pokemon. Make sure to bring a lot of healing items too, guys, because, uh, yeah. To Snow Point City, very, very long, and there's a lot of trainers and a lot of Pokemon that you probably, uh, don't want to face. I don't know. There's a few Ice Sight Pokemon that I have my eye on. 
Like, if you guys remember in my last Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, the very first one that I've ever had, uh, the one, yeah, the one that lasted for three years, I actually made the change in Pokemon right here, where I actually found, uh, what was it? Not a Snover. Is it a Snover? Yeah, I think I switched it for a, sn a Snover for a, uh, a Drapion, I think. Yeah. I kind of wanted to use both Pokemon, but, you know, it is what it is. I changed up a Pokemon here and there. It is what it is. But luckily for us, we already have our team still intact, ready to go, ready to kill some everybody, everybody here. So, let's see, there's uh, nothing right there. And of course, we can't get to this karate guy just yet because we, I think we do have the rock climb technique, but we just, we're not in the section to where he's at, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to be battling people downstairs here because you know what I can't be skipping anything I have to battle everybody just to show you guys the whole walkthrough because that's exactly what you guys like right right am I right probably I don't know Anywho, let's go ahead and talk to this guy and uh, he's like I'm an elite baller or battler okay we'll see what happens we shall see if you are the elite battle battler I should say so here he comes out with an ambipom and I'm coming out with Hera and uh, ambipom of course is the evolved form of a a pom yes and uh, wow it, it knows U-turn I think that's a bug type move yeah it is a bug type move and it was a critical hit of course it goes back to the Pokemon and it's coming out with Porygon 2 look at that this guy has some uh, new Pokemon that we haven't seen in quite some time and uh, there's that rock smash because yeah super effective why not and uh, <laughs> okay he's more he's more vulnerable to my next physical attack now if I can get another physical attack that'd be great and uh, let's go with this one rock smash come on let us win ah don't be like that and more defensive uh yeah and crud forgot that this guy right here had a signal beam ah god it's like the hyper beam of uh, bug type Pokemon like, aren't you glad that there there's actually bug type moves now? I I'm, I'm just saying. And uh, well, let's go ahead and come out with Starblade right here because you know it does have a good a good move that it can actually use. And uh, look at that, Porygon 2's stats are way down. So let's go with that Aerial Ace. Might as well not waste any kind of close combat or anything like that, right? That's right. Okay, so there we go. Porygon 2 fainted get all that experience points and uh, well of course hail in snow in the snowy area still don't get it so here he comes out with an, his ambipom yet again and I'm just gonna finish him off right now I'm gonna go with uh, you know what close combat and seriously trying to avoid the freaking uh, the, the close combat right here so here we go Starblade uses close combat and come on you're not that defensive that's right <laughs> Oh yes, that's right. Starblade, still my favorite emo-looking Pokemon right there. And so we have defeated another Ace uh, Ace Trainer. I think there's a lot of Ace Trainers right here, in like snow kind of comfort stuff. And uh, again, a reminder: make sure to use a lot of repels, guys, or have a lot of repels because there are a lot of people here that you know will have some different good Pokemon and will try and beat you. Of course, they're close to my leveling, so I'm gonna be struggling just a bit. Now, everything would have been fine if, I don't know, everything would have been fine if I would have leveled up just a little bit. You know, these last few episodes, they were a little bit of a, of a lesson. You got to train your Pokemon. And of course, we're going to be battling another person right here. It's like it never ends. It never ends. So here we go. Ace Trainer Lara coming out with her Tropius. And alrighty, finally an advantage right here. And as you can see, it's at level 42, so yeah, that is the, the lesson right there, Draven. Face palm, lots and lots of face palms, and uh, Fire Fang does the trick, takes a lot, and I do not know why you're using a sweet scent, lowering my evasion or my evas my evasiveness and stuff, and uh, eh, well, of course. You're gonna get hit by uh by by hail. So here we go, Fire Fang. Hopefully for the win right here. Come on, let's do it. And that is how you do it, guys. Suck it, Tropius. Suck it. Feeling happy about that. Alrighty, and uh, well, that's another victory for us right there. We didn't get to, or we didn't have a Pokemon fainting. 
I'm feeling good. And as you can see, there's a rock climb area right there, which we will eventually get to. I believe we get the rock the rock climb technique around here somewhere. Probably. I don't know. It's 40 minutes of this video, guys. We'll figure it out. And so, here we go. Are you a novice or are you a good trainer? I don't even know. So, we're going to be battling a skier right here. His name is Edward Cullen, and he's coming out with his Sneasel. I thought they'd like vampire Pokemon. You know, sparkly vampires. Now, if you're a big fan of the Twilight videos and I offended you, I don't care. I really don't care. So there you go. Slash attack. Ah, oh, crud. It's very, very physical. So here we go. Drain punch. Take some of his energy. Make it your own. And of course, it's very weak to you. And uh, <laughs> just like that, we take all its energy. That's right. All hail Gaia number two. Hail, Gaia, and uh, Starblade grows to level 32, which is also great. Or 39, I should say, my bad. Well, dyslexia, you gotta love that. And uh, here we find ourselves a cabin, and you can actually heal your Pokemon right here. Now, normally I would try and have my Pokemon, uh, or I would pause my, my walkthrough video right here, but like I said earlier, guys, it's 40 minutes long, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go through the whole thing. Now, this person right here is telling me about Thick Fat, which is uh, which makes a Pokemon invulnerable to any ice type or f fire type uh, effects, like like fr uh, freeze or fire or burns. If you guys catch my drift. Anywho, here we go. We're gonna be battling another Ace Trainer. He's got three Pokemon, and uh, I got myself Gaia number two. What's it to it? And of course, we're battling in like the snowy grass. Alrighty, it's my turf, kind of his turf, whatever. Now, you know what? I'm going to be switching it up right here. I can't I can't risk guy number two fainting again, like always. So let's go with Toothless. Alrighty, Toothless. And, uh, well, Mr. Mime. Well known for its barrier and, uh, and light screen attacks. And, uh, yeah, we're getting hit by freaking uh, hail every single time. Pisses me off. So here we go, Shadow Claw. Will it do it? No, it takes half. Oh, God. And, well... Mr. Mime here is not doing it for himself. He's doing it for his teammates. Oh God, you gotta love that. You have, you have got to love that. And there we go, hitting, getting hit by hail. So here we go, Shadow Claw for the win. Suck it, Mr. Mime. Suck it. Alrighty. And uh, well, more experience points for every single one of us. Starblade doing nothing, getting more experience points. That's always fun. And. Uh, we're gonna be hit by a bunch of hail and he's gonna be coming out with the scyther okay alrighty a play pet or a play uh, a play uh, uh, pal or something yeah whatever you like to call it alrighty so let's do this bring it on I see you're the ninja and there he goes with an X scissor and not so effective against this Pokemon, but yes, it does take a chunk of my HP. So here we go, Fire Fang, come on, finish him. Oh, damn. Okay, so we're, we're, we're screwed. We are screwed here because Scyther, yeah. Oh, crud. See, this is what happens when you don't train a lot, guys. Probably should have just overleveled my Pokemon so I can get, get this over and done with. Probably should have. But as you can see, Hera faints. God dang it. And uh, the Reflect wore off, so... That is probably another reason why I didn't, uh, <laughs> why I didn't do much. And, uh, well, let's go ahead. Starblade, do your thing. Destroy him. That's right. Lower his attack. And then use your emo hair to slice him up. All right. I think I know what move I'm going to be using. Let's do this. Let's go with an aerial ace. And come on, finish him off. That's how you do it. See? Easy stuff. Easy stuff if uh, you didn't have light screen or reflect on you. And uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of HP or experience points. And, yep, hail. Just like uh, Sandstorm. It's going to hurt you if you don't have the proper Pokemon. And here he comes out with a dust, a dust Clop. So let's go right ahead and switch it up right here. Now, it would seem that Gyarados or Hydra number 4 is like my toughest Pokemon because it has pretty good attack. It actually gets me out of a bunch of uh, sticky situations right here, and uh, this clocks just looks just looks so mean, tough, tanky, all that stuff. And yeah, thunder does not really work. And here we go again with another burn. Yeah, 
a lot of the time. Or most of the time right here, guys. Yeah, spend my time getting it my ass kicked. Getting uh, a lot of burns. Not a lot of paralysis. You know, that kind of stuff. Missing thunder because, you know what, it's very inaccurate. And there you go. Surf attack. Doesn't do much. And look at that. The pesky confuse ray. You gotta love that. Ah, oh, great. Gravy! Oh my god, you got... Oh god, I really... I, I'm a little... I'm a little PO'd about this. And, yes, we're gonna get hurt twice. Drinking my water. It's gonna be a lot of talking, guys. I know many of you guys would like to hear my voice, but... Yeah, I was dreading this. Now, I was planning on doing the recording last night, but... <laughs> you know, your good buddy Draven has to work. He has to work, and, uh, yeah... He worked a lot, and he was spent, so... Yeah. Didn't really do it last night, and I'm doing it right now, today, on the 7th. And, uh, well, hopefully if this gets out on the 7th, because I still gotta render this thing, then that's good! And look at that! Paralysis! Eat it, Dust Talk! Uh, Dust Clops! And, uh, oh crud. Shadow Punch. Hail. Burn. A miserable existence. Oh my god. Oh god, and yeah, you know, that could have helped. And crud, nearly win. Yeah, let's go with the more accurate. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. I'm gambling, and look at that. Dragon Rage wins. Fatality. Hydra number four wins. And uh, I'm afraid, yeah, it's not gonna faint. Thank you, baby Arceus. Alrighty, okay, so heal our Pokemon. I'm not even gonna use my items, I'm just gonna go in here, and I can't find a door. <laughs> Oh, God. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, why did you make this episode 40 minutes long? I don't know. Alright, we're not going to be battling any Pokemon right here, but we're going to be going straight forward to Route 217, and look at that! Marlene, right? Yes. Oh, Draven! And she's going to Snowpoint City herself. She could have used Fly, but no, she needs this because she's freaking, uh, she's, she's, a, she's a beast. And, of course, she's sneezing and all that stuff. So she's going to meet me over at Snowpoint City. Not much of a big thing, but yeah, she she's going over there to meet a friend or something. So let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. There is another trainer waiting for us, so I'm going to go with uh, Toothless. Bring, bring it. Because so far, um, there's not a lot of people... Well, there hasn't been anybody right now, except for the Sneasel, fan, uh, the Sneasel uh, the trainer, to come out with any kind of... Uh, Ice type Pokemon, and right now I just hit the jackpot because we're going up against an Electabuzz right here. Electabuzz, you look like you can uh, use a chill pill, but I'm gonna be using this. And crap, I pressed the button a little too quickly. I was going for dig, and uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't work out. Here we go, Dragon Claw. Come on, do me the favors, finish him, finish him. Oh, look at that critical hit! One out of a billion right there for me. That's awesome. That is, like, that is so awesome for me. Alrighty. Who is next? Oh, yeah, hail. Gotta take that. It's like rent. You gotta just pay it forward. You really do. And, uh, he's gonna come out with the Magmar, so I'm gonna stick by with Toothless right here. Does have advantage over both Pokemon. And, uh, let's go with the Dig Attack this time. Digging, digging, digging. And, uh, Butthead right there is looking at us. He's like, where are you? Will-O-Wisp was about to hit me. Glad I, uh, I avoided that, and, uh, there you go. Toothless with a dig. Suck it, Magmar. And, uh, that's right, I'm flexing my muscles right now. That is how you do it. Toothless becoming a beast. The Beast Incarnate. Toothless Lesnar. I'm just playing. Starblade grows to level 40 without doing anything. And, uh, I think it's time to switch that thing up. Give it to somebody else. And uh, there might be an item right there. Could be a ninja. But as you can see, we found ourselves the blue shard. Um, I believe you can find an HM around here too. So that's what we're going to be doing. I think it's right here something. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to use another max propel because you may not know. If you'll find somebody. And look at that. Ninja. Found ourselves a goddamn ninja. Anywho, uh, yeah. Uh, one thing that I, I, I just realized. Um, over the holiday season, I actually bought myself the handbooks, or the guidebooks, 
to every Pokemon game that I would be playing, you know, from Pokemon Yellow all the way to, uh, yeah, I, I've already had Pokemon Sun and Moon lying in my room for about two years until I finally started playing it. Hey, by the way, guys, I, I, I beat the game, so kind of have an idea of how to play that game now. Um, yeah, had the guidebooks, and uh, right now, I'm still waiting on the Pokemon Platinum guidebook. <laughs> Yeah, go figure. I'm, I'm waiting for that guidebook. So, a lot of the things right here that you're seeing is like, before I got the guidebook, probably should have, uh, you know, used the guidebook. That way, you know, I can uncover a little bit more of the secrets. Because remember, if you go into a guidebook, you'll find, like, hidden stuff. Trust me, guys. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Just wait till this weekend. You'll find out why. And look at that. We found ourselves... An Ultra Ball, which is good. Thought it was the HM. And uh, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. Donatello, ready for battle. And we're going to be battling this guy. Let's see, what is he has? He's like, I'll show you my techniques. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. And uh, his name is Sean. He thinks he's awesome. And look at that. It's a Snover. I was right. I was right about the Snover. Holy Jesus. Yeah, and if you guys don't remember, I... Again, I did I did have a Pokemon Platinum walkthrough before, and it did last me about three years. Literally, guys, I was doing Pokemon Platinum and Soul Silver for three years. Why did it take me that long? It was because good old Draven right here decided to procrastinate and uh, decided that it was a good idea to to play multiple walkthroughs at the same time. Yeah, time management guys. Didn't know how to do that. And uh, why is it not here on your on your uh, channel anymore for those who are new? Well, I decided to delete every single game. Every single game that I had. Believe me, I had a lot of games. And uh, start fresh. Especially with the subscribers that I have. And I believe this is actually, you know, it's actually working because, you know, quite a few times I've been switching up my, my background here and there. It was, it was ridiculous, guys. And, you know, it was all for the best. I think... Right now, to this day, I still think it was the best move I could have ever made. I mean, a lot of you guys are probably saying that, hey, you know, if you would have not, if you would have not done that, you probably would have been at the current games right now, such as Pokemon XY, uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Zapfire, Fire, um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and uh, Pokemon Sun or Sword and Shield. And true, maybe, but you know, I like I said, like I've said this plenty of times, I kind of have a habit of or when I back then I kind of had a habit of playing games blindly not knowing how to play them at all uh, most of these YouTube's tubers do more than more than half the time but they have more than half more than enough time to actually figure it out me I you know I barely have time that's why I'm doing walkthroughs uh, like I'm recording ahead of time that way I can record them over the weekend for you guys and then just bringing them out right here you know me just ban the banter, you know, bantering about that whole stuff. So, yeah, had a Pokemon uh, Platinum walkthrough, and, uh, you know, at Snover was one of my Pokemon. Made him into Obama Snow, and uh, did me well. Did me good servers and all that stuff. That was before I planned out my Pokemon. I, I think I had Giratina on my team, too. For those who don't remember, or don't know, I had Giratina on my team. For those who do remember, Comment down below. Let me uh, let me know what your memories of that Pokemon walkthrough was all about. Tell me what you guys think. <laughs> yeah, that's me interacting with you guys right there. And uh, there's an item right there. Let's see what it is. Found ourselves an iron. I swear to God, there's an HM around here somewhere. I'm going to be walking around everywhere. Now, one of the biggest issues in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum that I've been hearing from a lot of people is that, you know, how slow it goes. Uh, I believe... Uh, the text, even if you put it on fast, the battling, it, it just went, it just, it, the motor, it was, it was just slow. That was the biggest issue right there, but all in all, I think the storyline is good. Me, personally, if you guys ask me if, uh, what is your least favorite region, it would have to be Sinnoh, mainly because it's like, because of these, like, little problems that they, they brought in. Never knew that it, like, it would have been a problem, or nobody... Or it would have been a big issue for a lot of us. I thought it was just me. And, uh, oh crud. There's the Ice Fang. Don't like you right now. I really don't. You're a dick. And there's the, uh, Hail. Which we still don't like. Man. 
Just my luck. Just my friggin' luck. Alright, so, Lexi, he's gonna go with the Protect. I'm going to just, uh, do my thing right here and just continue on <laughs> just battling right here. And, uh, oh, crud. Hail. More hail. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And let's go with, uh, oh, crud. Let's gonna go with the nice shard right here. Okay. This snow, uh, this what? Snow run? It is a snow run? Yes. It's giving me a, a, a headache right now. I haven't had a, a chance to attack it. Let me hit you, damn it. And, uh, would you look at that? Finally. Finally. Thank you, baby Arceus. And, uh, alrighty. Okay. More experience points for all my Pokemon. That's always good. You know, we gotta stay ahead of the curve and all that stuff. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so, still looking for that HM around here. Again, guidebook will be coming soon. Probably be showing that on Instagram and all that fun stuff. And, uh, let's see. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking. Where the hell is you? Where is you? I want to find you. Oh my god. Okay, so nothing right here. Yeah, and it, one of the big parts right here is, uh, oh, look at this. Is it? Yes, we found. Oh, wait, crap. So TM07 hail? Huh. I could have sworn there's an HM around here. Well, I'm probably bullshitting. Let's see. Oh, yes, there it is. HM08 rock climb. Out of all the places right here in the snow. And, uh, yeah, this is one of my biggest issues, too. Going through the snow, kind of like the Great Marsh, and you just sink and you're just walking slow. That just, you know, it, it annoys me. All right, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Oh, Mother Nature threw the soles of our feet. That's cool. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. His name is Bjorn! He must be Swedish or shit, Danish, Nord Norwayanish or something. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody out there who <laughs> from those countries who are watching this. Comment down below the name Bjorn. I'm thinking it's Finnish, right? Is it Finnish? Comment down below if it's a Finnish name or what kind of European name. And I do apologize ahead of time if I offended you with that stuff. <laughs> and uh oh crud. There's that okay, earth earthquake and all that stuff. Jesus criminy and cupcakes and everything else. Of course I'm saying all this stuff because I'm hungry. But there you go, Earthquake does the thing. Oh yes, Swine Up fainted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Chudo! <laughs> and, uh, oh crud. Oh crud, Donatello is buffed by, by hail. And uh, we're gonna be sending off somebody else. He's coming out with another Sneasel. So, so far we've played against like quite a few, like a nice handful of ice type Pokemon now. I think my favorite one out of the Sinnoh region, or actually my favorite, if if you had asked me what, what would be my favorite ice type Pokemon, it would have to be Snover and its evolved form of Bob and Snow because it's both a grass and uh, and uh, ice type Pokemon. I actually, I actually like both like, one of my biggest my biggest uh, likes in Pokemon is uh, the hybrid Pokemon that, you know, offset the, their weaknesses such as, you know, Fire and Steel or Ice type and, uh, and Grass type. It's a very, very good combination. But then again, you might have quadruple the damage because you might have the similar weakness and all that stuff. But that's just me right there. Now, here's a house and it's not dark. <laughs> a person, a rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. And we get ourselves a spell tag. It's very nice, you know, it's for ghost type Pokemon, you know, you gotta love that. And, uh, we're gonna be moving on right here. And, uh, looking for- oh, okay, so, giving us the hint, use the dowsing machine, because there might be a hidden treasure right around here, and, uh, that is true. And if you see this one right here, it's a boulder, chilling to the touch. You touch that, level up your Eevee, you will evolve it into its new newest evolution right here in Generation 4, which is Glaceon. And uh, I believe we passed a, um, a, a a boulder with a uh, with a uh, what was it marsh? No, not marsh. Just you know some leaves on there, and it can evolve Eevee into a Leafeon, which is also great. And uh, here we go. I think this is the last trainer right here. I could be wrong. I don't know. We still got like crud, ten and a half minutes left. I'm just babbling on. I don't even know. <laughs> here we go. Going up against a pile of swine. Alrighty, I'm looking at it right now, a cockeyed and everything. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's right, right before I switch my Pokemon. Let's go, Hydra number four. Hail Hydra. Now, I'm gonna be battling on right here again. I know, 
I should make a small talk with you guys right here. But it's 40 minutes of freaking videos, guys. I'm sorry. I have to talk about something to catch your interest. If you're still watching. Um, let's see. We are in the year 2020. That's right, guys. And as for, for those who have been with me since the very beginning, this is this will be my 10th year come December 9th, 2020. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to make it the best ever. I mean very very special one that's why uh, in the in the next few days you guys will be seeing some surprises here and there on my channel uh, putting a little more content for you guys that way you guys can be a little bit more uh, entertained and all that stuff um, uh, hell I'm even gonna go out of my way and uh, you know and come out come out with a, a little surprise this weekend as well that way uh, you know, it brings back a little bit of nostalgia, not just for you, but for me as well, because, you know, it it will be 10 years since I've actually started this channel, has been YouTubing and all that stuff. Of course, I don't have the old videos to show for it anymore, but hey, you know, the right now and the stuff that I've come out with since then, it's just, you know, it's twice as, it's twice as good and all that stuff. So, you know, just keep an eye out for my channel, guys. I will be doing a major updates onto my Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff and on top of that make sure to check out my buddy uh, uh, Pokey Adventures HD came back last night uh, came out with another episode 40 minutes long too or an hour and uh, yeah we're gonna continue you know entertaining you guys with different types of Pokemon videos you know stuff that I won't do that he will do and stuff that I will do that you know he probably wouldn't do and all, and all that stuff so there you go Another piece of small talk right there. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening, if you're still here. Um, anywho, Harris getting his ass kicked by Glaceon. God dang it. That's the Eevee. That's an evolution right there. So in Generation 4, you will find two more evolutions from to Eevee, which is Leafeon and Glaceon. And I just explained earlier a few minutes ago how to evolve them. Uh, we just found a rock. The rock to evolve uh, Eevee. And uh, I think we passed by on that that whole uh, that whole leaf rock back in the, in the in the forest. But you know, I'll show you guys a bit a little bit later, right there. Now, I don't know. Let's see. Entertain or like you know, humor me just a little bit, guys. Um, I have been having an idea of trying to come out with a you know a little bit of a series of how to evolve Pokemon. You know, a little playlist on that stuff. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Make small, you know, 30 second to, minute, to a minute videos of how to evolve Pokemon in so and so version. If you guys like it, comment down below. Comment, like, whatever. You know, I'm trying to make it better for you guys. Right here, 10th year. Draven XC 711. Remember that? That's right. Gym Leader Draven right now. This is the X year. I hope so. Is it the X here in Roman numerals? I don't know. And Starblade grows to level 41 and is learning agility. And uh, no, I will not be teaching it because, you know, it's already fast enough as it is. And yes, that is a repeat loss for you. Alrighty. Bring it on. Let's move on to the next person. And uh, it's this guy right here. Now, it kind of feels like every 10 steps, like every 10 steps you make, there will always be a trainer right there just to wait for you and stuff. So gotta be prepared guys you gotta make sure to actually have the uh, the right items to actually go up against these guys that's right and uh, it started to hail Krogonk being uh, the anticipation shutter I don't even know what that move does and here we go with an earthquake that's right you're still a poison type Pokemon my favorite Krogonk is the Krogonk that broadcasts that's right he actually checks him into <laughs> he actually puts a uh, checks into him whenever he goes on horny mode in the Pokemon anime Good Krogon. You see, now that is a bro to have right there. If ever you're like uh, notorious of uh, getting into bad relationships and whatnot. Which I don't recommend, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> Here we go! Starblade. For the win. Going up against that Machoke. Now, I'm still waiting on a Machamp. You know, Machamps are looking pretty awesome right there. Speaking of which, one thing that I, I liked about Pokemon Sun and Moon, okay? Again, I'm going off topic again. <laughs> um, let's see, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I just completed it, and I don't know why the creators of Pokemon never brought this to the previous games, but 
we don't have HM Pokemons in that game. I know many of you guys have played them and progressed to the Pokemon, you know, Sword and Shield. I know I'm way behind. I'm an old man right here. But not using HM Pokemon, but using separate Pokemon, you know, to call them, to fly them to places like flying Charizards or, you know, using a Machamp to move heavy shit, you know. That right there was very useful because it just frees up the whole the whole team for like you know different types of Pokemon like if you're not if you don't like flying type Pokemon by all means don't use a flying type Pokemon you got yourself a Charizard that flies you to uh, uh, to the location should have done that in these previous uh, generations right here guys comment down below if you do agree I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on saying that for long as videos don't worry guys five more minutes of me talking about different shit and of course healing up my Pokemon right here oh yes hyper potions you gotta love them Expensive, but you gotta heal them up right there. So, Toothless, you've been doing so great. Who haven't I used in this in this video right here? No, I've used every single one of my Pokemon. Mostly Hero, because I'm thinking there's a lot of Ice-type Pokemon. And there are. But these Ice-type Pokemon are badasses sometimes. And, uh, well... Okay. So we got another trainer right here. Let's go. Olivia, coming out with Curlia. Donatello. Ready to fight. And it's hailing. Ready. Fight! You know, I could be a good voiceover guy. I really do. I have that, you know, that voice for commercials and stuff. My clients tell me I do. I don't know. I should probably do that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going off topic a lot. I'm going off topic. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. It's just, you know, how, how often do you see me do 40-minute long videos here on my channel? Not so much. I usually like to keep them within 15 minutes, but then when, you know, the adventure gets long, you might as well do it. And, uh, you know, it's probably another thing that I will be changing come the next walkthrough, uh, Pokemon Black. Uh, I will try and edit a little bit more, try and add a little bit more features to it, a little more inter interactive stuff. That way you guys can, you know, can see the, the, the important parts of the game rather than just me just rambling like what I'm doing right now. Once I do that... The whole world will love me even more. And hopefully we'll get to 7,000 subscribers this year because we've been stuck at 6,000 subscribers for three years, guys. Come on, help me out here. And uh, there's six, or the, the Sea King right here. Okay, let's bring it. Just bring it. I'm going to beat you right now. But you know what? It's not your guys' fault. It's kind of my fault. Been slacking 2016 and all that crud. But you know what? I'm going to make the effort right here. And look at that Sea King. It's a female. Now, that is another question I would like to ask you guys. I've been asking you guys this question quite some time. If a Sea King is female, would you call it a Sea Queen or a Sea King? Same thing with Mr. Mime. If Mr. Mime is a female, would you call it Mr. Mime or Mrs. Mime? Or Miss Mime? I don't know. Comment down below, guys. And I believe Mr. Mime has an evolution in, uh, in, uh, in Galar region? Comment down below for that one, too! Come on, guys. Feed me with the knowledge that I need to know. And, uh, well, there's that Aqua Ring. Gonna try and heal yourself. Don't worry, Donatello. Let's destroy this Sea Queen right here. Oh, yes. Mega Drain for the win. That's right. And is Sea King actually floating when you're battling it on, like, a terrain or something? I want to know that. And, uh, well, we win. And hopefully this is the last trainer. Hopefully it is because crud been a long video right here and uh, you can battle more Pokemon and once you get to Acuity Lakefront I believe you have to make a few steps more and I think there's something here no there's no hidden items right here now if you go straight forward right here on the Acuity Lakefront you'll see that Barry's waiting for you he's like you finally came along slow and uh, of course we need a badge in order to you know climb those lumpy rocks right there so yeah screw you Barry we already got Rock Climb, which is good. So, we're going to go straight to Snow Point City. And I don't think there's any more trainers right here. Please don't be any more trainers. Uh, left, right, nope. There's just, you know, grass. Lots and lots of grass. And an item right there. Don't forget that. Let's see. Found ourselves an Ultra Ball. That's always good. And, uh, come on. There it is, guys. We are in Snow Point City. I am happy about this. So... Let's go straight to the Pokemon Center, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon Planet Walkthrough.